Oh, I just learned one of my viewers told me, hey, you gotta say dollars. It's dollars and not dollar. I'm like, wow, gee, I live here 10 years and I said that all my life wrong. So it's dollars. Dollars. Hi everybody. So I went a little bit nuts and got me a couple beautiful things by Kevin O'Quan and I wanted to do a quick review of all these things. I recommend watching a video that Kathy A, my friend here on YouTube did. She always does these awesome the history of makeup brands videos. She's also cruelty free and she did an awesome video about Kevin O'Quan and how he founded the brand. Let's start with the foundation, the Central Skin Enhancer. So the Sephora website states that Kevin O'Quan was in Japan and he saw the beautiful, flawless skin of the Japanese woman and that's why he created this. So this is still the original formula and you guys, I have never seen a foundation in a tiny, tiny jar like that. But never fear, this stuff is crazy. It has the craziest coverage ever and it is like an all-in-one product. You can go very light with it, so then it's almost like a BB cream. Or you can go heavy, full coverage to your needs and it's also a concealer. You really need the tiniest amount. The first time I applied it, I thought I use a tiny amount. Like usually I'd go a pea size. Uh uh, not with this one. You really only dip it with your finger. It's so crazy. The consistency reminds me like on the Tarte Maracuja concealer, like very, very strong. It's basically like a little jar full of high coverage concealer. If you have imperfect skin or you just want to look flawless, this stuff is crazy. I have a photo where I applied the foundation only on one side of my face. You can clearly see which one. The coverage is amazing and I used only the tiniest amount. It's crazy. First I thought what a tiny jar but I don't think I will ever go through this. I have an oily t-zone and this is not that good if I don't use the hourglass primer. I still have my little sample soon empty. Uh oh, I gotta buy the full size. This stuff is great if you have oily skin or uh, combination skin. And together these work great. I'm able to really wear this. I think it might be better if you have dry or normal skin. And the consistency, first I find it very pasty. You have to kind of work really with it. It takes a time, but then you just have such a flawless looking skin. I was first scared because I read reviews you know how it is with scent some people like it some don't for me i find it smells very clean and fresh like a very clean fresh fragrance so i personally really like the fragrance of this but i know i read that some women are put off by that i don't i really really like it i can really recommend this foundation if you're looking for a real full coverage foundation that makes you look flawless. And then the next goodie is the contour book. This is right now on sale at Sephora for $40. So I snuck myself a palette and it has just gorgeous colors. I was again thinking, who these pants are tiny. So that makes it a little bit of a hassle to use with the makeup brushes. So I have to really look which brush to use. You might at first think this is expensive for how tiny the pants are. It includes three eyeshadows, this light one, this dark brown, and this is a very unique, beautiful tone. It's a Burgundy wine, deep wine. I have no eyeshadow like that in my collection at all. I love this. I wear it in my crease today. And 
this eyeshadow is the most gorgeous you know for lighting up the tear area there because I find when I try to do that with shimmery eyeshadows a lot of times it looks too cakey on me I turned 40 this year so I can I have to use something lightweight and this just does the job beautifully and super quick and makes the face right away look more awake you know when you do the light stuff right there I think this is a beautiful gorgeous gorgeous eyeshadow I'm in love with and here this is a celestial powder and this is a celestial powder highlighters this is the color candlelight this is the color starlight so these two alone in the full size retail for $44 and this whole thing cost $40 now these are half of the size of the original size but I think the value is just there already and here we have the sculpting powder that also retails for $44 in the full size which is about twice the size than this. If you just calculate like 44, 44, 44, okay half the size but still the value $40. Oh I just learned one of my viewers told me hey you gotta say dollars it's dollars and not dollar. I'm like, wow, gee, I live here 10 years and I said that all my life wrong. So it's dollars. Dollars. It's $44. <laughs> Sounds still so awkward for me. Dollars. Okay. Um, anyhow, I think the value is just really there. And at first, when I opened it up, I thought, hmm, it's maybe a little bit boring because all the colors are very neutral. But uh, uh, boy was I wrong, I mean just this color on my eyelid, it makes my eyes pop and beautiful for hooded eyes, it opens them up. I love this so much, I cannot even stop wearing it and this is the most perfect sculpting powder to contour and I contoured. I contoured my nose, not sure about that, I usually don't really do that, I'm okay with my nose but I wanted to go all in here with the things. And this highlight, they say that Kim Kardashian uses it and I love it, it is gorgeous. So I say yes, this is, this is beautiful, beautiful, I can recommend it, $40 great price. I know Kevin Okwa came out with a new contour book and that one is a great value too. It includes the exact same colors, only the pants are twice the size and it also includes two new cream products a highlighter and a bronzer I think it is for $65 so that's dollars. So that's a great value as well but if you just want to try it out, $40, mm -hmm. I have the lipstick in Zamilke, not sure if I say that right. It's a natural rose and it's just such a flattering, gorgeous, gorgeous rose color and it smells beautiful, it's sweet, is it like vanilla it's really really nice i love this and it has you know like the magnetic i don't know a word it's magnetic it's very hydrating very moisturizing and such a flattering beautiful color i wear this almost every day now since i got it love it so so much now it is not the most long wearing lipstick it is just a beautiful hydrating color and then the last item I got is a blush and that's the Miracle because I love me some miracles and it's just a hot pink but I have it on. It goes beautiful, it is really pigmented so you, if you go in too deep with that you might end up a little too much blush and it also has a scent, a strong scent and I feel like it's somehow fizzy like bath bombs. I really really like it. So yeah I was actually really surprised. I have to be honest I thought this is all only a hype. You know I don't buy often very high-end but I'm slowly 
putting my feet into there because I just have fun with makeup. It's just so fun and it's interesting to try all these things. And I'm very positive, surprised. I do really like it. Let me know if you have tried anything by Kevin O'Quan. Do you love it? Do you hate it? What is your experience? If you don't want to miss new videos, please subscribe. Don't forget to check out my Snapchat and you can follow me around Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, everywhere, you name it, I'm on it. And I also write a quite successful blog, so you might want to check that out too. See you later, ladies. I hope you have a lovely day. Bye-bye. Auf Wiedersehen.